In this video, I'm going to be covering attachments. An attachment is simply a file that is added on to your typical email message. I'm going to be giving you an example of this. I have one saved in my draft that John wants to send out. And I have the message, I have the recipient, it's about a lost cat that he found and he needs to find the owner and he wants to send this to Jane. So he saved this email and went and took a picture of the cat so that we have something to look at other than just the message. So to add an attachment to the message, at the very bottom on the right hand side of the send button, we'll see it, it looks like a little paper clip. So go ahead and click on the paper clip and it'll take us to our computer. Now all we need to do is navigate around our computer files until we find the exact file that we want to attach. We can attach pictures, we can attach Word documents, PDFs, music, any, about anything that you can imagine. So for this example I'm just going to go ahead and select this picture of a cat and then we'll hit open. And we can see the progress with the blue bar there quickly. And now we can see that we do have a cat picture attached to the email itself. We can do this again. If I click the paper clip one more time, we can add another picture of the cat or whatever else we want to do. So you're not limited to only one attachment. If you want to remove an attachment, all we have to do is click the X on the right hand side, right there. I'm going to go ahead and disregard this draft. The next part of the attachments that I want to discuss is how to download one that you've received. So I have one that I saved here. Bear with me one second while I pull it up. So here's some directions that were sent to John. Just a little message and then this is an actual PDF. So I want to view this PDF. So all I need to do is either click directly on the area here or I can download it to my hard drive directly. But right now I just want to take a look at it. So I just click in the general vicinity here and it'll show the exact directions that I was looking for from Las Vegas to Phoenix. So I have a few options here with the attachment and it'll look similar for most things that you do open. So we can print it directly or we can download it from this screen as well. So right now I'm just going to close out of it but it will give you a preview before you do anything with it. And that's it. I will see you in the next video.